Hi, this is Jeff from Aqua Products, and today I'm going to help you get started with the MRT 5000. After you've unboxed everything, all we need is the cleaner and the power supply. First thing we're going to do is we're going to move the power supply about 12 feet from the edge of the pool. But we're not going to plug it in yet. Next we're going to look for the end of the fluid cable that is plugged. We're going to plug this into the power supply. Since there's no handles to adjust or ribbons to move or sliders, we can just submerge the cleaner into the pool. So grab the handle, start to move the cleaner into the pool. And what we want to do is remove all the air bubbles or as many as possible so it doesn't affect the buoyancy or the performance of the cleaner. When you think you've got all the bubbles out, you can just let the cleaner float to the bottom of the pool. As it's flowing to the bottom of the pool, you can start to insert floating cable. And really, you only want to use about as much as you need, just enough to cover the corners of the pool. This will help any, with, prevent any cable tangling. All right. Next, we're going to find our GFCI outlet and plug the power supply in. On this cleaner, the power supply automatically turns on when you plug it in, so you don't have to press the on and off button to start it. It's set for a normal mode. Default is the second program and a continuous run. You can actually change up some of the features on the power supply by letting it go every 48 hours, every 72 hours, every 96 hours. But one of the best features on this cleaner is a dirty filter indicator so once the baskets get full this button's going to light up and then we're going to remove the cleaner clean out the filter baskets and keep moving so as we can see the MRT 5000 is doing its cycle it's moving about the pool it's cleaning but at any point two things are going to happen the first one is that the cleaner actually finishes its cleaning cycle. The second is that you need to remove the product out of the pool before the cycle has ended. In either case, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to shut off the power supply. So we're just going to come on over to the power supply and we're going to hit the on-off button. None of the lights are going to be lit up anymore. Power is off. Next, we're going to remove the floating cable from the power supply so that we're guaranteed no power is going to the cleaner. To remove the cleaner, we're going to gently pull the floating cable. We don't want to yank it, or tug it, we just want to gently pull it. This way we're not going to damage the cable at all. The goal is to get the cleaner to the edge of the pool so that we can grab it by the handle and remove it. Once the cleaner starts to get to the surface, gently pull it up, grab the handle, and remove it from the pool. Just let the water drain out back into the pool. All the debris is still trapped inside the filter baskets, so you don't have to worry about it falling back into your pool. Get the cleaner to the edge. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to clean out filter baskets.